Hi everyone, it's Volodymyr. I invite you to my channel about electromobility and today again we have a road trip. So it's 27th of August. We are returning back from a small family vacations. We've been visiting with my sister, nephews and my son. We've been visiting my father and his family in Purkersdorf near Austria. And now we are getting back because my father and uh, my sister and nephews, they have they are traveling today to Ukraine and we are traveling home to Starogardlanski to Poland. For us it's roughly 900 kilometers for one day. It's about nine hours drive plus minus. And we have started at 7.49 in the morning. Roads were empty so it was very good but from the very beginning we have driven not according to, to the plan. So plans, you know, should be flexible that's why i use a better planner but that's a different story please subscribe please press like if you like such videos and write your comments and we go so instead of going through the through vienna directly on the autobahn to the autobahn we have driven around vienna uh, no, first uh, westbound and then northbound uh, like roundabout around Vienna and now we're already driving to Mikulov we are close to Czech Czechia it's only 68 kilometers to Brno it's A1 out A5 autobahn now we have started with 100% I have preheated the battery now it's 44 45 degrees centigrade and uh, yeah 71 uh, percent in the battery now we expect to arrive to our first charging stop at supercharger olomouc with 28 percent in the battery in one hour 30 minutes still have to drive 141 kilometers and we are already driving one hour seven minutes uh, we have driven 103 kilometers so far initial part of our trip was slow uh, through villages but okay and average consumption is 189 we have some small side wind but not not a big one I, I see the consumption is really good and we are driving everything is fine about the plan use okay okay not the plan about the cost of charging stops we ha can drive today free of charge excluding you know charging at the destination at the start in Purkersdorf uh, 50 cents per hour of 11 kilowatt charging and charging uh, home which is approximately one polyslot per one kilowatt hour but it, travel charging can be free because we can drive on superchargers and I have just activated my free supercharging kilometers 5,000 kilo, uh, kilometers re redeemed using uh, you know po sup using Tesla referral bonus points so yeah I think to Pavel who has taken delivery of his Model Y for the recent bonus upgrade and I have used 5,000 points for supercharging credits and 2,500 points for premium connectivity for one year subscription which is great actually we are finishing our autobahn drive we are starting our normal usual roads right before the border with Czechia we are very very close it's Poisdorf Nord uh, off-ramp we are near the Poisdorf supercharger but we don't need to charge with 68 percent in the battery as always I have scan my Tesla Tesla Fi GPS and track and statistics and everything I'm using I'm using sexy buttons we have a police here, they are checking someone, okay, I'm not interested, interesting for them. 
and everything is good ah yeah uh, but i i'm not using tesla superchargers all the way because it it means i have to drive 40 minutes longer trip first of all because of katowice supercharger because that's like 40 minutes lost uh, in time also katowice supercharger is very busy usually it's v2 supercharger very popular local by local people and uh, you know instead of 140 kilowatts instead of 140 kilowatts you will get 65 to 70 because you will share a stall and i can use instead the greenway new station of greenway dobyshovice that's on a1 autobahn uh, on the on the level of katowice I, so you don't spend time for off ramp driving and city driving and etc but i will see if it will be busy or not and another supercharger which i can use is uh, Chekhochinek supercharger near Torun. It's not included in a better route planner plan, uh, but included in a Tesla suggestion. So basically, there is a difference for, of 40 minutes between Tesla plan and a better route planner. I will monitor the difference, but for sure will not go to Katowice. I did it a few times, and I know it's you know I will lose time there. And time is money, you know, so I prefer to pay for the charging and don't lose the time. Okay, so everything is good. If you are buying Tesla, use inventory. You have better prices at inventory. Use a referral code because, again, it's like 500 bucks or 500 euros it's always good to have additional bonus and the person who refers you a tesla also gets a bonus uh, as a point which can be converted on different things so the thing i still have not used my points for is uh, acceleration boost which i can buy using seven thousand credits which is good maybe that would be my next target i'm already using uh, enhanced autopilot subscription for three months for free so now i'm driving basically using this enhanced autopilot navigation on autopilot it's okay uh, lane changes are automated it's uh, it has this off-ramp uh, drive which is also useful to not miss a turn and i'm glad i ha i can use it yeah you know using the bonus points not you buying the package in full so thank you to my subscribers thank you to everyone who uses my referral code i hope you will be glad with your tesla as much as i'm glad or maybe even more I have 96 uh, kilometers on odometer already, less than three years for, uh, of a car, and I'm very happy and it's still, you know, I, I'm still enjoying my car. That's great. See you later. Hi everyone, short update after the first charging stop. I didn't have the time to record the report from the charging stop directly because we had to unplug in 18 minutes after we started our charging session uh, right after i have finished everything i wanted to do on the stop so i have used the toilet we have grabbed some coffee some uh, milkshakes we bought some sweets on the fuel station i have cleaned the windscreen and that's it then i checked uh, Tesla Tesla even earlier suggested we should go because it was enough charge to reach Katowice supercharger a better route planner I had to reload it because it's at first it suggested we need still need to stay 15 minutes but when I reloaded it it said okay you're fine you can unplug and go you're fine to reach Dobyshovice east 
charging station, Greenway charging station and rest area. So yeah, that's what we did. Unplug and go. And everything is good. 63% in the battery now. Uh, it's 10.55 a.m. 25 degrees centigrade, so fine weather. It's not, uh, you know, sun is shielded by clouds, so it's okay. We expect to arrive to our charging stop in 1 hour 27 minutes. We still need to drive 163 kilometers, and we will arrive there with 16%. Start of our trip. Since our charging stop, we have already driven 28 kilometers in 13 minutes, 235 watt hours per kilometer, and dropping. So we are actively cooling the battery. It, it has cooled already to 45.5 degrees centigrade, which means now it will turn on to passive cooling and we will stop losing energy for this. And since our start of our trip from Vienna we have already driven 275 kilometers and average consumption is 189 watt hours per kilometer so lower consumption on the on the way back because uh, we don't have full car of passengers and baggage so car, car is lighter and I suspect there is no wind and it's, it's not that hot so we spend less on AC everything is good so see you later bye okay we are on the mop Dobyshevice east it's a greenway charger nothing else here on the you know toilet and rest area and the charger so son is not my son is not impressed he wanted some burgers or whatever we have driven 182 kilometers since last charge with 208 watt hours per kilometer. We have arrived here with 10%. And since our start, start of our trip, we have already driven 438 kilometers with average consumption 184 kilometers. So 24 degrees centigrade outside. Weather is good, not sunny, so not it's not hot. Good convenient good at convenient so we need to stay there for like 20 or something minutes maybe 30 and we go to the next stop okay update uh, the greenway station this one will shut down if you shut the door so any shake of the connector will shut down the station and that's a glitch of uh, Greenway Delta nothing to do um, I can I cannot fix it so yeah just know and accept next stop uh, I was planning to camp here to get to Unity but I may need to camp for too long that's why I'm opting to use another new Greenway station at Mob Gluvno East that's on a1 after a2 juncture uh, after the turn to Warsaw and Poznan, 2A2. And uh, Tesla is over optimistic here because it thinks here around Częstochowa and Radomsko uh, there are speed limits, but there are none. So I, I mean, there is a full speed autobahn, 140 kilometers per hour. So we charge in a bit more to have a buffer to reach this new station. Then the unit would, would be here to close and I'm going to go to further here and uh, charge at Chechachinek. This is the Chechachinek. So then we can use Chechachinek to charge a bit more and we will be able to reach home. Good. Okay, so we can go hi everyone so we are driving on our third leg of our trip we are driving on a1 autobahn in poland near piotrków Trybunalski. we have already driven 500 557 kilometers from our start of our trip in Kurkersdorf, 
and from our last charging stop and first charging in Poland at Mobdo Bishovica Greenway we have made 119 kilometers in 54 minutes it's 200 watt hours per kilometer it's our average consumption since last charging stop 189 watt hours per kilometer total for our trip everything is good temperature outside is 27 it's, it's getting up a bit but we still have clouds so we have a comfort drive it's 38 percent in the battery now we have 36 37 degrees in the battery and everything is good so i was planning to visit another mob glovno another greenway station but now based on what tesla says in a better planner we may be able to reach ionity charging station at shell kutno it's a bit faster so i think it's better and it's closer to home so it may be better to go there and then it would be our last charging stop for today we will go from there directly straight home why i don't want to use chekhachinek supercharger because it's overloaded i have checked uh, five minutes ago all stations are busy five minutes uh, queue and queue for five minutes is not a bad thing the bad thing is that this is a supercharger v2 we have two shared stalls we will share power so instead of 140 i will get only 70 kilowatts it's a detour small one but still uh, you have traffic lights roundabout nah, i don't want i don't want i will keep my supercharger kilometers for our next trip and that's it so that's that's my last update see you later bye Okay, we have arrived to Ionity Kashava Kaschelna with 6% uh, in the battery. Battery was preheated and I'm activating it quickly with the Greenway card. Let's see what would be the maximum speed, even 5% in the battery. Okay, we are starting to charge. That's our last charging stop for today. Two chargers here. Both are available, one was occupied and yeah i think we will have the maximum speed now good to go so now we will go and see what we have what we can eat maybe i'll take some coffee and maybe a hot dog for a sun of course uh, we will have some time to wash the windscreen okay 184 that's a good good one we go okay please uh, look we have already achieved 73 percent charge from five in 28 minutes you know it's good not terrible and uh, yeah still 65 kilowatts the power of charging and yeah I'll, I'll i'm going to check in the car uh, in the tesla planner how much do we need because a better planner was over optimistic here and the same was tesla let me have a check and the question is will we have a record today calculating calculating okay so tesla tesla thinks we are good to go you know four percent and we are good Okay, better planner as zooms. We are good to go with 5% uh, arrival at home. I want to have a small buffer because I want to drive normally. So, okay, I have lost my <laughs> temper. We are going. I have just unplugged my car you can do it with the Onity without any card basically anyone can unplug your car or you can unplug anyone's car and this will, will get people furious of course so yeah we go 83 percent 59 degrees in the battery 30 degrees outside 
and we still have to drive 231 kilometer see you so this is the final uh, final trip leg i'm not far away from home 49 kilo, 41, 49 minutes to go 83 kilometers to drive everything is good it's uh, 4 15 pm we expect arrival as at 5 0 4 pm we have started at 7 22 i believe so it's like 9 hours 40 minutes or 45 minutes okay time for 900 kilometers for real time real life trip and real life conditions i already know why tesla was so conservative why it doesn't increase you know percentage uh, state of charge at arrival because tesla knew that we will have a rain maybe serious rain on our way and a better planner was lagging behind on this so tesla predicts weather that's good and also it was a bit over optimistic over pessimistic which is which never hurts you know it's better to have few percents more in the battery than you know to lack this few percent so now we expect to arrive at home with seven percent it was four now and it had increased because rain was not so serious and i had slightly decreased the speed really really uh, tiny amounts and a better planner has decreased its uh, estimation and they are meeting somewhere in the middle so now we are meeting at seven to eight percent charge at arrival it's 21 degrees centigrade outside after the rain it's cooled down now uh, what we have 33 percent in the battery now we have 32 degrees centigrade in the battery and everything is good and the headwind so yeah 211 watt hours per kilometer since our last charging stop we have already driven 153 kilometers in one hour 11 minutes about 130 kilometers per hour every speed and uh, we still need to drive 78 kilometers in 47 minutes our starts from the very beginning of the trip from the vienna is uh, 822 kilometers driven average consumption 199 watt hours per kilometer and we will have today 900 kilometers in total so yeah everything is good even used tesla you know this 96 almost 97 kilometers thousand kilometers on mileage on odometer and three years um, seven percent degradation it's still good long travel car really um, for me it's works like a charm you know thank you very much for watching again please sign subscribe and write your comments and see you in the next one bye